so far this season? Uh, I've seen a lot of um, great leadership as a young guy, but he's kind of a vet now because he's been with us for a little minute. Um, great tackling and just great effort all around. You guys in the secondary have gotten a lot of negative plays. A lot of times you guys are reading the and hitting those guys in the backfield. How, how have you guys improved in that area so much? How have y'all been able to be so effective in that this year compared to last year? Just getting more comfortable with the schemes and stuff that Coach Dill has going on. Um, just more in the playbook. Um, we're all playing together again for another season, so it's a lot easier because we know what each other is going to do. And just playing with a lot of effort. What are you seeing on film with Fitzgerald that, that could create a problem or, or, is, or is a concern for you guys? Um, he has a great arm. You know, he's a big, big quarterback that can, um, he can also run. You know, we faced him last year, so we know what he can do. Um, but today is our first practice pressing against, you know, that team. So, you know, I'll look and see what more we have in store. But, I mean, I know he's a pretty good athlete. Do you guys feel like you've exceeded your own expectations as a defense so far? No, I don't think so. We still have a long way to go. Um, Coach Hill keeps on saying that we can get better. And as we watch film after every game, it's still a lot of things we can clean up and perfect. So, I mean, we're still, you know, climbing up the ladder. Coach talked about doing a little thing and get better each week. What are one or two things that you feel like you need to get better at defense as a whole? Communication, because, I mean, the effort is not a problem at all. I mean, all 11 guys flying to the ball all the time. So just communication, because everything else is pretty much good. You're talking about pre-snap communication? Yeah, pre-snap communication, and then when they get the audibles and people going in motion. And you're talking about the secondary linebacker? Right? Yeah, all of us, because we all have to be on, on the same page. Linebackers and secondary, we all have to be on the same page when things start moving fast. And are you uh, the guy in the secondary that you Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me as well as Steve. It, it just depends on, you know, what side of the field we're on because me and Steve are interchangeable. I play free safety, strong safety. Come down and box play linebacker sometimes too. How, how different has Jeff Holland been um, just when you watch him? And, and when you go back and watch him on film, especially seeing mm -hmm. him playing as, as really like this kind of cutting it loose, how much fun has it been to watch? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Jeff is relentless. He's a funny guy. He's always um, – Yelling and screaming, he's very outgoing, and it translates onto the field as well. We heard about his leadership, like in the summer, all those things. Did you see this kind of performance kind of bubbling up, waiting to, to come out? Oh yeah, he made a, a huge improvement, and I mean, he was learning from one of the best players that came through here, Carl Lawson. So he looked at his tape, and he played behind him, and I mean, now y'all see that he's become one of those great players. Yeah, we were excited, man. Uh, before, before the game, you know, we was telling them, him and a couple of other freshmen, man, we're gonna try to give y'all a chance to come on out here and showcase y'all talent, you know. So that's why we went out there and played hard at first, so we can get some of the other guys in there. And I mean, it, it was remarkable. Him and um, Trayvon Leonard, you know, they get to play a lot this year. So I mean, that'd be helpful for next year when we all gone. He has um, great ball skills. He's very instinctive, and he's not scared to put his face in the fan. He's not scared to tackle at all. So um, he'll be a great, great player next year, a few years to come. What's the key with going against a dual threat guy like The key is to keep him in the pocket. Um, I don't really want to. I don't really want to speak too much. I'm just yet, you know. <laughs> Uh, I don't want any material getting out there, so you know we're, we're just looking forward to getting after those guys. But do you think you and Steven are going to have a big part of containing him? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a pretty good job at it, but I mean it, it all starts up front. Our D line is remarkable, so they'll do their job, and we just have to keep the top on the coverage and you know play within ourselves and in, and in the game. We can't, we really can't just go out of the game plan. We all have to do our job, and that's pretty much what we've been doing this whole year. They're both feisty coaches. I mean, Coach Steele, he's very calm um, when game time comes around. But in practice, you know, he'll, he'll get after it.
Coach Grantham is the same way. The um, great coaches, they, they've been in the game a lot, been in the NFL, been at different major colleges. Um, their schemes are crazy and intense, and they're always getting after you. So it's, it's a lot of similarities. Um, here and there. No, not this week at all. You, you guys, you go against, you've gone against Carry On and Cam with that way on practice and everything. How good are those guys when they're both healthy? Because it's been a while, both healthy and out there. Well, when they're both healthy, man, uh, it's, a, it's a great one two punch. Um, Petway is a, is a dynamic runner as well as a bulldozer. You know, people don't really want to talk to him that much. Carry On is a more shifty guy. But he also can, you know, punish some some linebackers and safeties as well. And when they're both healthy, man, it, it, it's a crazy, it's a crazy tandem. And I think for the most part, they'd be back to 100 percent these upcoming weeks. Do you guys pay attention to stats at all, you know, as far as where you rank nationally in, in certain categories? Do you pay attention to that? No, sir. We don't. We just go out there and play football. Any more questions, Trey? Thank you, Trey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Coach, 